Halogen bulbs with 12 volt supply voltage have significantly improved performance characteristics, but they still require power adapters. Such adapters can be represented by electronic and electromagnetic transformers. When choosing between the two kinds, you should keep in mind that although both the transformers have equal parameters, the electronic one still has a number of advantages. Some of them include its lightweight, compact size, short circuit protection, low noise level, and stable operation under no load, built-in temperature and overload protection, soft start-up mode, which extends the service life of a bulb, since the case of an electronic transformer heats only slightly, it can be used in furniture, lighting, and suspended ceilings. Today we'll discuss how to choose a transformer for halogen bulbs. Step-down transformers have two very important parameters – output voltage and nominal capacity. It is the nominal capacity that determines the total capacity of the bulbs that can be connected to this transformer. Transformers' output voltage must correspond to the supply voltage of the halogen bulbs that will be connected to it. If such voltage is equal to 12 volts, the transformer must output the same voltage, 11.5, 12 volts. If you want to connect several bulbs to the same transformer, they need to be connected in parallel. Using the respective wires, the bulbs are connected to the transformer output terminal. If you are using an electronic transformer, low voltage value is usually indicated right next to the output. In an electromagnetic transformer, it's a pair of thicker wires that belongs to the low voltage output winding. Besides, one more decisive aspect in choosing the right transformer is the geometrical proportions. This is especially important, for example, when transformers are installed behind the line encoding on suspended ceilings through the bulb holes. The higher the capacity of a transformer, the more it costs. It is not always convenient to assemble a big transformer. In this case, it is easier to divide the bulbs into several groups, connecting each group through a different transformer. This option is also useful in that if one transformer fails, the others will continue operation and ensure lighting of the room. Besides, it is cheaper to replace the broken transformer. The last thing we'd recommend is that the wires connected the transformer and the bulbs should not exceed 2-3 meters in length. This is explained by the fact that low-volt electronic power transmission, if compared to its high-volt counterpart, implies significantly higher power losses for wires.